Well, Chess, just uh, really another fascinating guest, Sarah Adler from Stanford, a psychiatric professor there, and who says, look, this generation is different than any generation before. We've never had digital natives joining the workplace, and they're going to come at things from a little different perspective, right? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was interesting. She said, I lovingly call this generation the misery generation. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've every generation has misery. You know, whether it's uh, yeah. wars and and upheavals and so on. And they've just got more access to all the mess, and they can't stay away. You know, that's yeah. the way they process everything. It's with them twenty four seven. She said, that I, "I, I, I really tuned into her answer to your question. Are they more anxious, or do they just talk about it more?" Yeah. And she said both, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. they are more anxious and they do talk about it more. So that was an interesting takeaway for me. Well, just her, you know, connection to 9-11, which, you know, our generation all, of course, went through. And, and uh, you know, that's that we, we were. We were told, look, stop watching this. Uh, get away from it. You know, go on a bike ride. Go on, you know, and, and we all knew that we had to do that. And yet this generation can't. And we have to understand that trauma is happening all around us and they're coming into the workplace. So there's going to be some clashes. And that's what she's talking about here. We have very different experiences. They're not going to start doing things our way, but also we, we need to change, but also they need to meet in the middle here and realize that uh, we have some differences in how we communicate. We all have to have the same goal to make this workplace, for instance, a better place. It's like a family counseling session. I love that. Yeah, I, I, a comment that said, show me a Gen Z that actually will make a phone call and I'll be shocked, you yeah. know, uh, yeah. even though we still call them phones. Uh, increasing human connection, that, yeah. that so important that loneliness is, is skyrocketing and, and the plus and the minus of the digital native, right? That, that it can serve underserved communities and helping them make connections. We, we took a little deep dive on the trusted information. I think that's going to continue to be a, really a big issue because she did say, how does it make you feel and so on? Well, I think misinformation can make you feel pretty good too, you know? And so <laughs> yeah. you've got you've to really uh, take a deep dive on that. Who am I connecting with? What are they telling me? You know, is yeah. it, can it be validated? Uh, again, coming back though to that human connection. Do we have human connections that we can rely on? that yeah. seem to be ever more important, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I think the last thing I took away was that, look, goodness of fit, she talked about, you know, when we are looking and examining, closing out, examining where we're working. And, you know, this is so important for Gen Z that's, that's very mission and purpose driven um, that maybe, yeah, you're going to take a job for a little bit more money, but there may be trade-offs. If you simply examine them, it can help you be less anxious about it. Um, but also that we have to realize at some point this may not fit and that will help our anxiety if we find the right thing for us. We have to evaluate our job prospects like we evaluate our da dating prospects. I love that. <laughs> and uh, last for me was uh, give yourself a break. You know, when you're t doing your own personal maintenance, give yourself a little grace. Uh, she said, look, my whole family's ADHD. And so we're really focused on uh, diet and exercise and sleep, and taking those breaks and giving yourself a little grace that just says, look, I, I, I need a break uh, to recuperate and, and grace. And when we, we think about grace, uh, who are we uh, grateful for, Adrian? It's well, our producer. Especially <laughs> to our producer, Brent Klein, to Christy Lawrence, who helps us find amazing guests, and to all of you who listen in, who download. Um, if you like the pod podcast, please share it. We'd love you also to visit thecultureworks.com for some free resources to help you and your team culture thrive. Yeah, and we love speaking around the world as well, whether it's in person or virtual on topics of culture, teamwork, resilience. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about your event and, and stop by and pick up our book, uh, Anxiety at Work. Lots of great tips in there as well. So, Adrian, um, what would you say to wrap this up? <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Until next time, we wish you the best of mental health.